This video will continue to discuss group action on the set X. There are two points I will explain here. First, I will explain G sub X or stabilizer of X for any element X inside the set X. Second, I will talk about an example based on John Fairline's text 1611 example. What is the stabilizer of X? If G X on a set X, then for each element X here, stabilizer of X is a collection of all element of G now, such that G cap X is equal to X. Note that different X have different stabilizer. A few points to note here. The stabilizer of X is a subgroup of G, although not typically a normal subgroup. Second, in John Fairline's text, it is denoted by G sub X, and it is also called the isotrophy subgroup of X. The example mentioned in 16.8, when D4, X on the set X, where X is taken from a square, and what is D4? D4 is the symmetry group of the square, consists of rotation, of 0 degree about the center of a square, rotation anti-clockwise 90 degree, rotation anti-clockwise 180 degree, rotation 270 degree, and mu1, which is a vertical reflection in a line bisecting the square, and mu2 is a horizontal reflection in a line bisecting the square. And delta 1 is a reflection along one of the diagonal D1. And delta 2 is a reflection in the diagonal D2. And x is taken from a square. Consists of four vertices, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four sides, x1, x2, x3, x4. And two diagonal, D1 and D2. Let's look at a stabilizer for some of the element here in x. So I want to find the stabilizer of the element 1. So this means that this is collection of all the symmetry now in D4 such that G add on 1 will give you 1 again. What are the elements of symmetry that leave 1 unchanged? First of all, identity, rotation, about center 0 degree will leave 1 fixed. And what else will leave 1 fixed? Okay, you can do a reflection in D2. Then you'll find that the point 1 will remain fixed there. So this is delta 2. The other symmetries are move the point to other places. The stabilizer of 1 consists of row 0, which is the identity element, and delta 2, the reflection in the diagonal along D2. Now, let's look at the stabilizer of S3. S3 is the side here. What symmetry will leave S3 fixed there? So, this is the set of elements inside D4 such that G add on S3 will give you back S3 again. One possible element is rotation of 0 degree, row 0. You can do a vertical reflection by setting the square. Then S3 will remain stable at S3. So that reflection is called mu one right, mu one is a reflection in the vertical direction. So that reflection is called mu one. So I can write mu one here. The rest of the symmetry will move S3 to other places such as S2, S4, and S1. So these are only two elements of D4 that fix S3. So this is the stabilizer of S3. Now let's look at another stabilizer of D1. 
my D1 is here. So what is a stabilizer of D1? This is the collection of elements inside D4. Such that G add-on D1 will give you back D1. First of all, the identity, rotation of 0 degree about center will leave D1 fixed. What other symmetry will leave D1 fixed? Well, you can do a reflection in D1. That is called delta 1. So delta 1 is one of the symmetry that leave D1 fixed. What other symmetry will leave D1 fixed? Rotation of 180 degree. When you rotate 180 degree about the center, the line D1 is still back at the same location. So rotation of 180 degree is rho 2. How about other reflection? Can we do reflection in the line D2 called delta 2 here? So when you do a reflection in delta 2, you will find that the red line after reflection will still stay at the same line. So delta 2 is another possible element of G that fix D1. There are four symmetry that fix D1. So stabilizer of D1 consists of rho, zero, rho 2, delta 1, delta 2. That finished the recording.